Live fishing with Phil here. We're going out on the Why Not Cat today. It's a nice day in May. We're going to go catch some uh, bait today from Sierra, Anita, hopefully some rooster fish out in the bay before we take off so that we can try and fish for squid, sharks, and cargo tonight. All right, we're catching bait right now. Captain Mark's over there doing the best. Yeah. We're going to be getting some nice fish here for bait. This is the little uh, rubber band on a hook tied with fishing line. A little magic trick that works to catch the bait. It's our little hoochie. Handmade special by Phil and PV. Fishing with Phil. Let me show you how to tie one of these. It's pretty easy. Hang on there. We'll get right to it. Okay, here we are. We're at Phil's little bench here. We're going to make some lures to catch our bait with today. Um, this is a little secret that was told to me by one of the captains down here that always caught fish. And uh, it works. His name's Cowie. And he uh, does a good job. I've known him for about 20 years down here. He and I fished on the office a lot. He used to make a lot of the lures we used to catch our bait with. And this was one of his tricks that I learned from him. And uh, let's see if it works today. I think it will. I've seen it work in the past, but it's just something that we make, something you can't buy down here. But it's like gold. I mean, it's part of the fishing art is being able to create the things that you can catch them with. So when we get a little creative and we step out on the edge there, we have a chance to make something new, something that works, something that can benefit everybody. So, we got the last one on. Pull it down tight in your hand so that you've got room to run the line back through the hole. Go back through the hole. Okay. Then you leave enough line so that you can fill a loop here that you can pull the line back through with once you start it and run it back to the loop. So you start it like this, you run it all the way around. around. That's a red snapper, guys. You betcha, beautiful. Woo, baby! We just caught that on a, on a, let's see. There it is. We just got that on a yellow hook here. Really good one. Yeah, don't make it jump. Great day, it's starting out good, guys. How you doing, Lenny? You having fun? Wonderful. <laughs> good 
Congratulations. It's a why not time, isn't it? You betcha, baby. <laughs> why not? Stay tuned. We got more Pargo to come. The end to a great day. Or two, maybe. We had a nice trip here with Mark. There was a nice big Pargo we caught at La Corpetania. A nice, great, big one here. We're going to tell you a little more once we get in. But hey, we got a whole bunch of Toros, a bunch of Jacks. Had a good time. Fish was caught by all. Great day fishing on the Why Not Pass. All right, you guys, look like you had a great trip here. It was wonderful. And uh, that, well, that's a nice fish. What is that? That would be a red snapper. Pargo in Spanish. Pargo in Spanish. Fantastic. I like it. Both languages. All right, you guys. So, Lenny, did you have a good time today? Would you recommend it? We had a wonderful time. I would recommend the Why Not Pass and Captain Mark to just everyone. Fantastic. Well, hey, I'm glad you fished with us because you fished with the best, not the rest. Have a great day. Come back with us. Stay tuned. We're going to be fishing with Phil a lot here. We're going to get some good fishing in. Stay tuned. Ready to catch bait. Guys, don't worry. We're going to have a lot more tips for you coming up in the future here. So stay tuned to Fishing with Phil. We're going to show you how to catch the fish, where to catch the fish, and where to stay to have fun in TV. Tight lines. Fishing with Phil.